This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT science question. The question asks, what information about the reactants in experiment three, so described in this paragraph, is um, something that could affect the results is assumed. So we're looking for something that isn't explicitly stated in the passage, but is assumed to be something important for the experiment. So let's look at our choices. Choice one, the temperature of the reactants is the same as the chlorimeter. Um, it tells us that they're placed into this bomb calorimeter, which has a heat capacity of this number, and the initial uh, temperature of the calorimeter is set at 25 degrees Celsius. Um, so it doesn't t say anything about the temperature of the reactants. It tells us which reactants we have. So we have carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, but nothing about temperature, so that's not good. Choice two, the amounts of the reactants are in a specific ratio. Also not stated, but probably true because having a different ratio of one reactant over the other would probably affect the experiment, so let's leave that one. Choice three, the reactants are all gases. So yes, we do have hydrogen gas and oxygen gas, but we have carbon as graphite. And graphite, um, if you know from chemistry, is solid like what's in pencils, but um, you don't have to know that. All you have to know is that they're not saying carbon as graphite or car graphite gas or carbon as gas. So the fact that the passage doesn't explicitly say it's gas means that you can't say that all the reactants are gases. Choice four is similar to choice one. The reactants have the same heat capacities as the calorimeter. Um, and we don't know anything about the heat capacities of the reactants, so we can't say that. The only thing we can say for certain is that they're gonna be in some sort of ratio. What ratio, we can't say for sure, but there is going to be a ratio. So choice two is right.